What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build, this time with my Pyromaniac Magicka Dragonite. Magicka Dragonites are looking pretty pretty damn strong in this patch, the burst potential with Flame Lash and the Dragon Leap of course, and the extra dot pressure with engulfing flames, burning embers, and of course one of the strongest stuns in game with Fossilize makes this class extremely dangerous. Let's get straight to the build, 5 Pariah on the body, which gives us a ton of resistance. The tankiness with this setup is insane. The extra resistance while dropping low HP is pure gold. As monster set, Barlog, of course, like always, the penetration and the extra spell damage is insanely high. Use it guys, you can play heavy armor like me and you still have over 20k penetration, easily over 20k penetration, just because of Barlog. It's a mystery for me that they still didn't nerf it, but yeah, those things, right? On the jewelry, burning spell weave, which gives us almost 500 spell damage if we apply a burning status effect, which is pretty easy as a magic EK with engulfing flames, burning embers, flame dash, almost everything is flame damage. Which makes this set perfect for Magical Dragonites. Uh, fully infused with spell damage. You don't really need a sustain glyph here. With a burning spell with Inferno stuff. In Sharpened with the flame damage enchant. Since we are on heavy armor, we need the extra penetration here. On the back bar, critical repost. Which gives us extra critical resistance with sword and board. You could also use AI stuff here if you prefer. But I like to play with sword and board so I can block more often on the back bar. And I can regain stamina with fully charged heavy attacks. With a known sword and a sturdy shield with the berserker glyph. By the way, 5 heavy armor with impen and 2 light armor for extra spell penetration and spare crit. With, let me check, 1 sturdy and 1 well fitted. I should change the shoulders in sturdy too since I don't really roll dodge that often with heavy armor. As glyphs, full prismatic, even on the shield. Quick look on the skills. Front bar engulfing flames, a powerful dot, which gives us 10% extra flame damage. Burning embers, one of the strongest single target burst heals in game. And a powerful dot on top. Flame lash, our spammable, which deals even more damage if the target is off balanced. Fossilize, one of the strongest stuns in game. You can't block it, you can't roll dodge it, it's super powerful. Then Elemental Drain, since we are on heavy armor, we slack a bit on penetration, and Elemental Drain helps for extra 6k more penetration, and it also gives a little bit more sustain with Minor Magicka Steel. Has ultimate Dragon Leap, one of my favorite ultimates in game. After you use this ultimate, you feel really like a dragon. On the back bar, Fragmented Shield for Major Mending and a small shield and it gives a stamina back, thanks to this passive here. Race against time, the Psychic Order skill, which is a snare removable, gives major expedition and minor force, so another 30% movement speed and 12% more crit damage. Even if you only have 28% spare crit, it's a nice bonus on top. Hardened armor, our resistance buff, then our burst heal, dragon blood, which got buffed a bit, and another heal, Cauterize. Alternative, you could use Flames of Oblivion for even more damage, but then you slack a bit on heal, it's, it's up to you. As defensive ultimate, the Spell Wall. With a Restro stuff, you could use the Restro ultimate here, Light Champion. As race, I'm Dunmo for extra max stamina. High Elf or even Breton is fine too. As Wunderstone, the Atronach for extra magicka region. As Buffwood, the Clockwork Citus Filly, and as Potions, the normal Spell Power Potions with Major Sorcery, Major Prophecy, and Magicka. Quick look on the blue and red CPs. Blue ones are Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, Resilience, and Duelist Rebuff. You could even go for Taumaturge here instead of Resilience if you prefer, but I like personally the Crit Resistance more. As red CPs, Rejuvenation for Sustain. Slippery to automatically CC break without costs. Dragonaut for extra 10% damage mitigation while CC immune. And Ironclad for extra armor. Now I will show you some Battlegrounds gameplay. 
If you have some questions about it, movement, survivability, rotation, PvP combinations, that kind of stuff, just type it in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as fast as possible. Like always, if you prefer a Syro gameplay, type it also in the comment section below. Then I will maybe make some 1vx or small scale footage with it. But now enjoy the gameplay. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. I will chase the night. Race all of these broken dreams and flight. Here we are again, done with another PvP build video. Next one will be a Magicka Necromancer PvP build. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe my channel guys, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, stay healthy and enjoy this wonderful weather outside and hopefully see you in the next video. Ciao!